Illustrating history. There are things we know about our world that seem evident and even obvious, like gravity, for example. But it hasn't always been so obvious. Gravity was only explained by the end of the 17th century by the British scientist Isaac Newton. Newton was introverted and a loner. He didn't have many friends, but that didn't stop him from sharing with the world his incredible discoveries. During the year 1665, the plague was sprawling through Europe, closing the University of Cambridge, where Newton studied, forcing him to study on his own, at home, at his family's farm. It seems this forced retreat yielded good fruit. According to the legend, an apple fell on his head, and finally, he understood everything. This story probably never happened, but the most important part of it was what he concluded after a lot of studying. Two bodies are attracted to each other simply because they have mass. Better yet, we are attracted to Earth, and we attract Earth, and this is why we're stuck on it. And this law applies to every known mass. For example, when we're reading, even though it's a tiny attraction, we attract the book, the armchair we're sitting on, the walls around us, and those objects are attracting us back. But what about the moon? It spins around the Earth. But why doesn't it fall onto Earth? Well, in fact, the moon is actually falling, but the difference in this case is not only gravity, but the speed with which it travels through space. Since this speed is so high, gravity and speed are in a sort of tug of war. Speed moves the moon forward, and gravity attracts it toward the center of the Earth, making the moon orbit around the planet. Newton also made a great discovery about the composition of light. He shined a ray of sunlight through a prism and observed that as the light penetrated the glass, it was white. But as it exited on the other side, it was divided into the different colors of the rainbow. So he concluded that the light is actually composed of a combination of all those colors. During his life, Newton made several discoveries. He built the first reflecting telescope using mirrors, which provided a much clearer image than models available at the time. He discovered that Earth is not perfectly round and it's flattened at the poles. That statement raised a lot of controversy. He also established three laws known as Newton's Three Laws of Motion. He was a great mathematician, among other things. Even though an apple might have contributed, books orbited his life. Newton has changed the way we perceive the world. How about you? Are you ready for your own great discoveries?